This video is purely based on my keen observation. Welcome back my Kaiwao! In today's video, it's quite different from my previous uploads. But, let's do this! Why are Filipino students hesitant to speak English? We cannot deny the fact that Filipinos are naturally gifted in using the English language in a daily conversation, but not bold enough to show it. I have gathered some reasons why Filipino students hesitate to speak English. Number 1. They lack self-confidence. They know how to use the foreign language, but they try to keep it to themselves just to avoid being teased by others and become a laughing stock when their grammar is incorrect. Instead, they ask permission from their teacher if they could explain their ideas in vernacular. I had the same sentiments when I was a student. Yes! It's really hard to stand and talk in front of the class. It feels like your entire body is shaking. But you need to give it a try. You need to push yourself in order to boost your confidence. Reason number two is related to grammar. Students are hesitant to speak English when they are not sure with their grammar. Nowadays, Filipino students are very particular with the so-called grammar. They were taught in the past the different types of sentence structure, types of sentences, but still they are confused when to use it and how to use it. The sad thing is, people tend to laugh when they hear Carabao English, as we say it, but trying is the key to improve yourself. I know grammar is vital, but you can fix that as time goes on. As long as you can convey the message, there is no reason for you to be shy in using the language. The very reason of poor grammar is lack of practice. Students cannot learn the language overnight. It takes constant practice, using it in a daily conversation, whether inside or outside the school premises. I really admire school who require their students to speak the English language like most of the time. And I am a victim of that SOP as well, but in a good way. It would be an advantage to the students if they are used in speaking the English language inside the class. Guys, constant practice makes you better. Another factor is this. They don't know how to pronounce words properly. Pronouncement? Pronunciation? Like what the heck? I don't even know how to construct sentences well. Pronouncing the words? Oh no, it's so damn stressful. That's the common scenario. Again, they don't want to be laughed at when they commit mistakes. Instead, they opt to keep quiet. But guys, you need to learn a lesson from your mistakes. Number 5. They are intimidated with other students who can speak English fluently. He's so good. She speaks fluently. How about me? Why me? She speaks so well. I'd rather shut up. This is the mindset of a student with inferiority complexes. And this is a common scenario inside the class. And lastly, why Filipino students are hesitant to speak English? Because they wanted to avoid embarrassment. An outlook embedded in a student's mind. Embarrassment can cause traumatic experience. In today's era, students are far away more different during our time. When they are embarrassed, they try to isolate themselves, make their own world, and shut the doors from others that may lead to negative self-evaluation. Just a piece of advice. Take the risk in using the language, take corrections and criticisms in a positive way, because in the long run, it will make you a better speaker. It's not too late to try. There are still rooms for improvement. I hope this video can open the minds of the students out there. You're good. You need to stand tall and be proud of yourself. And for more videos like this, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell for you to be notified on my next upload. If you have any suggestions on my next video, all you have to do is to leave a comment down below. This is Zywo. Peace out.